Have you guys ever went down the rabbit hole with fragrances? I have been down that rabbit hole a few times. I have jumped on the hype train a few times and purchased fragrances that people have influenced me to buy and I no longer wear them or I haven't pulled for them in a while, but they're really good fragrances. We gonna talk about it. Why don't we talk about these fragrances anymore? Stay tuned. What's up, fragheads, fragrance lovers, and friends? My name is Amanda Marie, and over here I love to discuss all things fragrance. So if you're someone that is into smelling good, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I think by now I've done maybe eight or nine of these videos, but I like to travel back in time and talk about fragrances that I was either influenced to buy, they were extremely hyped up, whatever the case may be. Some of my favorite influencers loved them and hell, I felt like I needed to try them too. And all of a sudden, we don't talk about these fragrances anymore. Does that mean that the fragrances are not good? Does that mean that we're, we've moved on to bigger and better? The Baccarats, have the Baccarats taken over? Let's get into it. I wanna revisit some fragrances and I wanna figure out what happened. What happened? Why we don't talk about these fragrances no more? Let's get into the first fragrance. Miss Chloe or Chloe by Chloe, or is it Chloe by Chloe? Or is it Chloe by Chloe? I fell in love with Miss Chloe years ago. Oh my God, when was it? When was it, girl? When did you fall in love with Chloe? I want to say it was 2016, 2017. This is actually my second bottle of this fragrance. And I often say Delina was the first fragrance that really introduced me to Rose, but I'm gonna eat those words. I'm gonna say Chloe. Chloe was my first like rosy rose fragrance that I actually really did love and enjoy. And I think because it was a bit different for me. It's like your girl next door, sweetheart type of scent. There's nothing offensive about this fragrance whatsoever. And I remember this fragrance being super, super powerful. I was going to say powerful. Yes, very powerful and very powdery. But I remember this fragrance being super popular. Like, I mean, it was in the mouths of everybody. Everybody loved Chloe. And I'm just trying to figure out, girl, what happened? Like, we don't, we don't talk about her anymore. Are we still pulling for her? Are we in love with her? There have been a ton of flankers that have come after this fragrance, and I have not owned any of them. This is the only fragrance that I love, and that's the OG. That's the original. I never was into any of the flankers. Not saying that the flankers are not good. I just the ones that I smelled just didn't really move me like the original Chloe moved me. Now one thing I think kind of turned people off about the bottle, and we're just talking about the bottle, is the fact that this part right here is actually sterling silver, if I'm not mistaken. And so it has a tendency to tarnish a little bit, and I think really all you need is a good polish like a silver cleaning polish or maybe like one of those uh cloths that you can use to clean um and get the tarnish off of i haven't tried that yet but i i did hear a lot of people complain about uh that feature on the bottle it doesn't bother me at all i mean it's gonna tarnish you know it's gonna tarnish because of the air and elements and heat and cold and all that'll mess it's going to tarnish the bottle as long as it doesn't tarnish the fragrance. And I'm actually going to give her a little bit of a spray. Even though I'm quite familiar with this fragrance. Oh, it still smells the same. It's beautiful. I actually have the hand cream. I bought it as a set. 
and the hand cream still smells beautiful it still smells good actually let me show it to y'all okay here it is here without like blinding you guys but the hand cream still smells amazing like hand cream like y'all can't see it and it is so thick oh i don't want to i don't want to waste it but it is very thick i need to just go ahead and start using it to be honest with you but i like to layer it with the uh chloe fragrance it's still in really really good shape and this is glass so i got a good deal with both of them together you can see this has tarnished and this has not this may not be sterling silver though but i like the fragrance i really do this is the eau de parfum i don't know if there's an eau de toilette version but in this fragrance in the top you get peony lychee freesia in the mid you get rose lily of the valley and magnolia and in the base you get virginia cedar and amber it's very classy and very it has a very classic feel to it i love the dry down the dry down is more so dry than powdery in my opinion this is the first fragrance that i added to my collection with this much amount of rose this is a very rosy rose fragrance and i love the peony with the rose with the magnolia i didn't i can't even tell there's magnolia in here because magnolia is a very heady white floral which can sometimes be overpowering in fragrances in my opinion but in this fragrance it's all about the rose the rose is definitely the main star in this fragrance and i feel like because of the dry powderish like dry down you could actually wear this in the cooler months and i feel like it would perform very well in my opinion this is just like a very classic scent like this is a type of fragrance that i would hold up there with the chanel's with the dior's you know very classy very classy it's giving class okay sophistication it's giving expensive so i'm wondering why we don't talk about this fragrance anymore is it because of the bottle is it because we're not into this vein or this type of genre of fragrance i don't even know what genre it would be classified in to be honest with you is it starting to smell vintage is it starting to smell old dated are we beyond this are we beyond the cloes now are we over the cloe fragrance line i don't know I don't want to give up on mine. Y'all see I got a nice little dent in it, okay? So I ain't been messing around with it. Y'all see how much I like it. And again, this is my second bottle. Will I purchase another once I'm done with this? I don't know. I don't know. I do enjoy it. But you know, honestly, as I have really like went down the rabbit hole with fragrances, I'm really very much in tuned with fragrances that speak more to me and i would say out of the all of the rose fragrances and i don't have a lot of rose in my collection i think i would keep this around i honestly do i think i would repurchase this once i'm done with it because it is a very unique rose in my opinion it just it doesn't come off like your normal typical rose like you know you can smell rose like you're gonna smell rose in here but it has a very unique feel to it that i actually enjoy and it's just quite different for me when it comes to rose so i think i like this one what do y'all think are we over chloe by chloe are we over chloe by chloe <laughs> comment down below let me know the next fragrance i want to talk about is c by Giorgio Armani. Now, when this came out, I mean, it was hyped all the way up. When it first came out, and I wanna say it probably was in, oh my God, maybe it was 2008, 2009. I think it was 2009 when I went to the mall with a friend and I smelled it. And it didn't really like, catch me 
back then. It didn't catch me. I think at the time I, when I, I, I bought another fragrance over this one. So fast forward to 2019, 2020, I was actually upset with myself because I heard that this fragrance had been reformulated. It could have been reformulated in 2021. I'm not 100% sure, but that's the thing that burns me up is <laughs> I'm like, once I get into something and then I find out it's been changed, granted, I wasn't head over heels with it when I first smelled it in 09 anyway, but I guess it was just the just me knowing that it had been reformulated kind of upset me. I did have, and luckily, I'm glad I did this, I did buy a travel sprayer of the original formulation which i still own right now to this day and i'm glad i did that and i've compared the two and they do smell different i want to say the travel spray that i have or that that formula the original formula reminds me a lot of c intense and i'll pop up a picture not the one in the black bottle but the one they just released maybe uh, about a year or so ago, it reminds me, the original formulation reminds me of that intense release. So I have several variations of this fragrance. I have the original, original release in a travel spray. I have this one, which this is probably, this is definitely the newer version. I want to say, I have to look at the batch code, but I want to say this formula is from maybe 2019 or 2020 so it's a new one and I do have the C intense in the black version which I bought off of another fellow youtuber I was so happy to have that one and then I do have a travel of the C intense in the uh the the latest intense version I guess it's really going to come down to which formulation that you like but i guess since i have this one in my hand which is the recent formulation are we loving this i don't know i don't know i'm not a, i'm not mad at this this is a very um kind of seductive dark earthy ambery type of scent and you do get some vanilla in this fragrance as well i don't know where i got 2009 from so dang so okay i did okay so this is definitely probably a 2020 um maybe 2021 formulation and my travel spray is more than likely the 2013 um formulation and i want to say it may have been reformulated in 2017 i'm probably confusing the hell out of y'all with all these dates child because i'm confusing myself but anyway, in this fragrance, you have Cassis is in the top. In the mid, you have May Rose and Freesia. In the base, you have Patchouli, Ambroxan, Vanilla, and Woody Notes. I don't know why where I got the amber from. Maybe because I'm looking at the juice and it's giving off an ambery color. This is really pretty. I can definitely tell the difference. I feel like that 2013 formulation was a little heavier. It was a little thicker. Like the 2013 version hit different. I think back then, my mind space and when it came to picking fragrances was way, is way different, way different. I was younger back then. I didn't really go for fragrances like this. This back then smelled way more mature for me at that time in my life. So I really wasn't pulling for this. Oh, we don't like this no more. We don't like this. Is it just me, child? Is it just me because I'm getting on up there in age? I don't know. But baby, I definitely was not checking for this in 2013. Mm -mm. Now, oh, I'm definitely checking. This is seductive. This is definitely what I want to smell like when I go out on a date. I want to smell very seductive and sexy. That is definitely what I get from this. I think, though, in all in all, 
I prefer that new C Intense version over this one, I would have to say. Definitely wouldn't get rid of this. Would I repurchase this? Probably not. I probably would use all of this up and then I would get the Intense, the new Intense that they just released, okay? I already have the, the um, original Intense, not the one in the black bottle, but the one in the ambery bottle with the gold. I think it has gold writing on it, but I would definitely get that one. So are, are we checking for this? Are we over this? Comment down below. Let's get into this little baby right here. I don't have it in a full size bottle, to be honest with you. I don't feel, I didn't feel like I needed it in a full size bottle, but this is Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm Perfumery. And this fragrance was so doggone hyped up. I think this is one of their most popular fragrances from the brand. Hyped up. Every time I would go out to buy a full-size bottle, it was always sold out. I think I'm perfectly fine with this fragrance. And this is why I would tell you. I personally, this is just my opinion. Now, I ain't saying that the fragrance is not good. Now, I ain't saying that. Okay, so don't start with your twitter fingers okay what i'm saying is i feel like it was definitely overhyped you get blueberry you get lemon you get bamboo you get orris vanilla sandalwood and vetiver i would tell you this fragrance and i'm gonna spray a little bit on my hand this fragrance when i first smelled it reminded me a lot of Marc Jacobs Decadence, minus the pickle juice that you guys say is in Decadence. Me personally, I love that pickle juice smell. I just can't help but to think about Decadence when I smell this. Now at the price point, at the price point, I just couldn't see paying that much for a full size bottle. I couldn't I couldn't wrap my head around it. I just, not when I had, I still had decadence. Now what I will say, I am pulling this sweet, creamy, uh, blueberry note from this fragrance that you are not gonna find in decadence at all. But at the heart of it, at the heart, I'm getting decadence. I think this is probably a better, scent than decadence i will say that but i still think it was hyped up it was way hyped up a lot of people not talking about the fragrance anymore i mean everybody in their mama was talking about poets of berlin that is like around the time when i jumped on tiktok when tiktok had really started blowing up at least for me Everybody that talked about fragrances talked about Poets of Berlin. Like, you, I couldn't escape Poets of Berlin. So, I'm happy I have this. Um, I think this is a 30 ml. Is this a 30 ml? Shit, I can't see. I don't necessarily know. I don't necessarily know if I would buy a full-size bottle of this. I mean, if I just had a little extra coin somewhere you know stash where i can want to splurge on myself maybe but the, i could think of a hundred more fragrances that i would buy over poise of berlin to be honest with you again i'm not knocking the fragrance i think it is a pretty scent you know when you smell a fragrance and you go mm, this reminds me of something that i have already that's how this fragrance makes me feel it doesn't necessarily excite me. It doesn't necessarily be like, oh, I gotta just, oh, I need a full size bottle. It doesn't do those things for me. Like I just, I don't get overly excited when I think about this fragrance or when I wear it. It's not meh, but it's not like, ah, either. Are we not loving this fragrance anymore? Was it overhyped? Do you think it was overhyped? Because I definitely think it was overhyped, but let me know down in the comments how y'all feel about this fragrance. Again, this is Poets of Berlin by Wilhelm Perfumery. Y'all remember when the cubes were popular? The Narciso Rodriguez cubes were popular. It came out with a white one, 
a peach one, a red one. They came out with so many. I got my hands on the white cube of by Narciso Rodriguez, which is my ultimate favorite. But a lot of you guys were pulling more for Narciso Rodriguez Pudre. A lot of you guys love this one over the white cube. Nine times out of 10, if you have a Narciso Rodriguez fragrance, you're gonna find musk in the base. I feel like he loves musk and I feel like he's built his fragrance collection around the note of musk, okay? So you do have to be a lover of musk to enjoy his fragrances, okay? Because you're gonna get the musk. In this fragrance, you're gonna get jasmine, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom, musk, coumarin, cedar, vetiver, and patchouli. Now, I'm definitely pulling the orange blossom out of this fragrance. I'm not gonna spray it because I'm, I'm still picking up on this Poets of Berlin, but I'm definitely getting the orange blossom mixed in with the musk. I do get hints of the rose. Actually, I get more than hints. I get the rose, but it's not the start of the show for me. I'm pulling more musk, more orange blossom. I'm definitely getting the vetiver in the base. Added orange blossom in this fragrance, it just makes the fragrance very sweet in my opinion love the dry down i love that powdery musky woody dry down in this fragrance and over the years i have become a lover of orange blossom so i do like this fragrance again it's not my favorite cube the white cube was definitely my to go to but you guys y'all went head over heels for Poudre, do you have Poudre in your collection? If you do, are you still pulling for it? Do you still feel the same? If not, what has replaced Poudre for you, okay? Because if you are one of the ones that jumped on the hype train with Poudre, because baby, I remember at one time, I don't even think I could find this fragrance. I think I finally got lucky and I may have purchased this on Fragrance Net. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm wondering if this fragrance has been discontinued because or all the cubes, because I don't even see the cubes anymore like when I go to Macy's. Um, and that's usually where I can find Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. I don't even see the cubes anymore. There was a red cube that I actually wanted. I can't think of the name of that cube, but have the cues been discontinued? Comment down below and let me know. I'm thinking they probably have because I don't see them anywhere. But are you guys still loving Poudre? Do you have it? Are you over it? How do you feel about it? I'm curious, especially for those of you. I, I really want to hear from those diehard Poudre fans. Like you just, this was your bae. Like you loved it. I mean, are you still rocking with it? You still, y'all still cool? Like, let me know. I'm gonna hold on to it. I don't think that this would necessarily be a fragrance that I would repurchase. I would repurchase the white cube until the day that I die. Like, that is my bae right there. Like, I need to actually should find me a backup bottle of the white cube. But once I'm done with this one, I'm definitely, I'm gonna say bye-bye to it. I'm gonna say bye-bye. I'm definitely over the the poudre i'm over the poudre i love doing videos like this i love them because it gives me a chance to go back into my collection and just revisit fragrances that i haven't talked about in a while i may not have worn in a while because i am an influencer i do feel like um i'm talking more about fragrances that are just coming out new releases, you know, the more popular fragrances. But the truth of it is, I always look at fragrance as an a art, an art. It's an art for me. It's very creative. It's a way of expression through just like fashion would be. Fragrance is a way of expression, how I love to express myself by smelling good. And um, I look over my collection and granted, I do have a lot of the more popular fragrances a lot of new releases and things of that nature only because i like to give you guys the tea right but i do have more fragrances in my collection that were released 
a while back. And to be honest with you guys, I feel like I love those old school fragrances. Those were my fragrances. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below. Let me know if you have any of these fragrances in your collection and how you feel about them. If you are a lover of fragrances, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on your notification bells. That way you'll be notified every time I upload and you don't miss out. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button on your way out. It is super important to me and the growth of my channel. It lets algorithm know that I am here. I am uploading. I'm here. Okay, so hit that thumbs up button. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you are smelling good doing it. I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye.